it was clear communication between us, you not intending to not actively listen, but me recognizing that you weren't present with me and actively listening and just gently calling it out, not going, yo, stupid, <laughs> why aren't you listening? You know? Because I absolutely talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> And so do I. No, it's, you know, talking. pattern interrupts. <laughs> we got to do pattern interrupts sometimes. Uh. So we have to be willing to lovingly call to the table like, hey, be here with me. Yeah. I need you here with me. Because most individuals who are not actively listening across the board, yeah. whether it's business, relationships, friendships, they're not intending to not be there with you. No. They just have more things going on in their life. And so if you need them there with you, ask them to be there with you. Yeah. Don't get mad at them because they're not. That's such a good point. And I mean, and that's that's number two, right? Is uh, expressing your needs clearly, right? Yes. And so active communication is or <laughs> active well, listening. It is, active it is communication. Kind of communication as a whole, but active listening and expressing your needs clearly really go hand in hand, which is why we're kind of talking to them uh, back to back in this way. Um, you clearly expressing what you needed in that moment helped me re realize where I was. Mm -hmm. And then it allowed me to say, oh, you know, I am not actively listening. And so even though I kind of shared where I was, like, hey, I just wanted to relax, but I wasn't really doing a good job of clearly communicating it because I wasn't sure. Like, I honestly wasn't necessarily fully actively listening to myself. I wasn't actively listening to the thoughts in my head, to where I wanted to be, to what I need, what I personally needed at that moment. And so not only was I not clearly communicating what I needed to myself, I definitely wasn't doing that to you. And so that little call to action, if you will, that little pattern interrupt, as you're saying, um, which you did not call me stupid or anything, <laughs> yeah, <never. laughs> um, um, <clears throat> really made a difference because it just kind of, it was kind of like, um, like in golf, for example, I've shared this before, I take a rubber band, you know, I, I have it and I, and I just kind of snap it and, and it kind of pulls me back. It's a pattern interrupt. You get to snap back, right? And so that's something that through this process, you and I have, have helped each other out by not being rude or mean or disrespectful, but just lovingly providing a, hey, snap back. And, oh, yes, okay, you're right. Um, let me take a second and let me listen to what you're asking because you're clearly sharing what you desire out of this moment. Let me take a moment so that I can do the same in return. And then we immediately got on the same page. Yeah. And honestly, being goofy like we just were is a huge part of that. Now. Honestly, I know that's not everyone's personality, mm -hmm. but find that part of your personality that is uniquely you and utilize that to bring levity or something to that moment as you're communicating your needs. Do it in your own way so that your personality is being infused mm -hmm. and it comes from that place of honest sincerity, Yeah. right? You know, for us, it's just being goofy, goofy, and we're like into superheroes, and we're into all of this fun stuff. So we talk about things being game levels or superhero type things, or but whatever it is for you, make it resonate so that as you're communicating it out, you can bridge that connection, and people can understand you and your needs, and how to connect with that. Right? Absolutely especially in relationships. Mm -hmm.